Challenger 3 is poised to become one of the most formidable main battle tanks in the world by 2026, and its impact is already being felt across NATO and the broader European defense landscape. As Germany continues to modernize its military, in response to growing geopolitical tensions, especially following the war in Ukraine and increasing assertiveness from Russia, the development and anticipated deployment of the Challenger 3 marks a significant turning point for both British and German strategic military planning. While the Challenger 3 is a British-led project, its relevance to Germany, NATO and European defense as a whole cannot be overstated. At its core, the Challenger 3 is an extensive upgrade to the British Army's aging Challenger 2 tank, bringing it to a new level of lethality, survivability and networked warfare capability. It is being developed by Rheinmetall BAE Systems Land, RBSL, a joint venture between BAE Systems and the German defence company Rheinmetall. This collaboration between a major British defence firm and one of Germany's largest arms manufacturers is a crucial example of transnational cooperation within Europe's defence industry. For Germany, which is deeply invested in both NATO and the European Union's security frameworks, such collaborations are key to building a more unified and interoperable defence system across the continent. The Challenger 3 features numerous technological advancements. Its most notable upgrade is the replacement of the old L30A1 rifled gun with the latest Rheinmetall 120mm L55A1 smoothbore gun, the same used in Germany's Leopard 2A7V and other modern NATO tanks. This move not only improves firepower and ammunition, compatibility across NATO forces, but also underscores Germany's role in shaping standardization across the alliance. The gun upgrade enables the use of new types of high-performance kinetic energy penetrators and programmable ammunition, significantly increasing the Challenger 3's lethality on the battlefield. The tank is also being equipped with an advanced modular armor package, a new digital turret architecture, and cutting-edge electronic warfare and sensor systems. The new armor system is designed to protect against both kinetic and chemical energy threats, including advanced anti-tank guided missiles. Active Protection Systems APS, like the Trophy or Rhine Metal Zone Strike Shield are being considered for integration, offering protection against incoming projectiles before they even make contact. These systems align with Germany's emphasis on force survivability and technological edge, reflected in their own modernization of the Leopard 2 platform and consideration of future joint tank projects like the Main Ground Combat System MGCS. Germany's Interest in the Challenger 3 goes beyond simple admiration. As Europe seeks to increase the interoperability and standardization of its armored forces, the British tank's compatibility with German components and technology strengthens ties between the two nations' militaries. It also enhances Germany's strategic position as a central logistics and maintenance hub for NATO forces operating in Europe. In fact, the shared use of the Rheinmetall 120mm gun across British, German and other NATO tanks significantly simplifies supply chains and battlefield logistics, a critical factor in high-intensity conflict. The development of the Challenger 3 also arrives at a time when Germany is reassessing its long-standing military posture. Following decades of underfunding and a traditionally cautious approach to military engagement, Berlin is now rapidly increasing its defense spending, committing over $100 billion in special funds to modernize the Bundeswehr. While Germany remains committed to the Leopard 2 platform in the short term, the success of the Challenger 3 could inform future decisions about what technologies and design philosophies to incorporate into the upcoming MGCS project, which Germany is co-developing with France. Strategically, the Challenger 3 reinforces NATO's eastern flank. With Britain committed to deploying heavy armour to countries like Estonia and Poland, the Challenger 3 ensures that NATO retains qualitative superiority over Russian armoured threats. Germany's own deployments along NATO's eastern frontier would benefit from a close partnership with British Challenger 3 units, enhancing joint operations and battlefield coordination. From a technological standpoint, the Challenger 3 represents a convergence of British innovation and German engineering precision. The tank's digital backbone enables real-time data sharing, integration with drone reconnaissance, and artificial intelligence-enhanced target acquisition, 
capabilities that Germany is also integrating into its upgraded Leopard 2A8 and planning for MGCS. These features make the Challenger 3. Not just a tank, but a battlefield command node capable of coordinating complex maneuvers and engaging multiple targets with extreme precision. Moreover, the Challenger 3 is designed with a future-proof philosophy. Its modular architecture allows for the integration of next-generation technologies as they become available, including future sensor suites, unmanned systems, and electronic warfare tools. Germany, which has traditionally emphasized modularity and upgradability in its armored vehicles, sees this as a major strength and one that aligns well with its own doctrine. Another critical point is training and simulation. With Germany and E, the UK both investing in high-end military simulators and virtual training environments, interoperability becomes much easier. Shared systems, common ammunition and joint training exercises will improve readiness and reduce the likelihood of technical or logistical incompatibilities during combined operations. This is especially important as NATO faces the prospect of high-intensity warfare where time, coordination and supply efficiency will be decisive. Politically, the Challenger 3 helps to reinforce Britain's relevance in European defence following Brexit. Despite leaving the EU, the UK remains a core part of NATO, and its continued investment in cutting-edge land systems sends a strong signal to Berlin and other European capitals about its commitment to the continent's security. For Germany, having a strong and technologically advanced British ally, with whom it shares industrial and military ties, is a strategic advantage. As of 2025, testing of Challenger 3 prototypes is ongoing, with initial operational capability expected in 2026. The British Army plans to acquire at least 148 upgraded tanks, but the platform's success could lead to further orders or even inspire other NATO countries to consider similar upgrades or joint procurement pathways. For Germany, the Challenger 3 is not a competitor to the Leopard series, but a complementary partner platform in NATO's armoured forces. It offers valuable lessons, joint development opportunities, and strategic alignment at a time when unity among Western nations is more important than ever. In summary, the Challenger 3 is not just a British tank, it is a symbol of what transnational cooperation can achieve in modern defense. With its deep German ties through Rheinmetall, shared technology with the Leopard 2, and strategic utility for NATO as a whole, the Challenger 3 stands as a key pillar of European armored power for the years ahead. For Germany, this tank offers more than just a glimpse into the future of warfare. It offers a model for how collaboration, standardization, and technological excellence can shape a more secure and unified continent.